The first things that come to mind after I hear the words punk rock are obviously rules and regulations. And we just got so lucky a couple days ago, a couple new hot sick dope rules dropped. When it comes to these rules and regulations, normally it's the labels and the venues forcing these down our throats. But right now, we got a band dropping some sick rules. Cause there's one thing that we love to do when we go to punk shows, and that's mind our behavior. I'm kind of memeing around a little bit, you know, bands are free to have their preferences or whatever, but I'm gonna pull up this post that made me have this debate in my mind. And rather than have this debate in my mind or in comment sections, I thought I would just turn on the camera and kind of talk through this a little bit and see if we can come to a conclusion. Hey ladies, how's it going? Dan Frampton here, and today we're gonna talk about these rules right here. They were dropped by Japanese band at a Kyoto called Otoboke Beaver. They happen to have dropped one of my favorite albums this year, and their live show is crazy. They're a very tight, amazing, fun band to watch. And I respect the hell out of them, which is why when I'm hit with these rules, I'm more inclined to respect these rules because of who they're coming from but I wanna open this up as to a more generalized conversation. So we might as well just like dive into this post right here right now and then break it down a little bit. Starts off by saying, you are welcome to post videos on Instagram and Twitter, but please do not upload them to YouTube. Please do not take the set list home with you. Please do not leave drinks on the stage. If you think this is too many rules, then unfortunately, say goodbye, crying face emoji. We appreciate your cooperation, puppy dog eyes, heart. Now the first thing that I think when I see a set of rules like this posted to Instagram is like, was there an incident? Did something happen? Is there a reason why I shouldn't be like super critical about this right now? The reason why I think that these rules exist, it's because of ticket sales, okay? Now on Instagram and Twitter, you can post little clips, you know, a minute long, whatever. Here's a little 15 second song of my favorite band. I'm so hyped to see them. But if you go on YouTube and post a longer thing, and especially with this line here, please do not take the set list home with you, they don't want you spoiling online what their set looks like. And from a band's perspective, I guess I, I get that. You wanna sell those tickets. But from a fan's perspective, I don't actually think that affects ticket sales that much. If you were playing the same town over and over and over again, then yeah, I guess I could see that. But you know, you're touring around and people are excited to see you regardless of the sequence of songs you're playing. So I guess I see that part of the argument, but the other side is YouTube is a great way to archive this kind of thing. But if a band doesn't want their stuff archived, by fans, by people, by the general public, then the least we can do is kind of respect those wishes, you know? So on one hand, I'm like, well, these rules are kind of stupid. But on the other hand, I'm like, well, if they don't want it to happen, then, you know, just go to the show and enjoy it a little bit. That's fine. That's no big deal. But the way I've always seen it was having the live set on YouTube and that whole experience just makes for a great watch. You know, not a lot of people love going to shows. Like being in a whole crowd is kind of shitty. You know, once you get over 30, you know, it's kind of, you're kind of done with it. You'd rather just watch the show from the comfort of your own home. And not only that, it lives forever and ever with a time code. So, you know, it's history, it's archived, it's brilliant. And if the band wants to be in charge of their narrative, well, guess what? Every band wants to be in charge of their narrative. And there's a whole public out there with phones and cameras in their pocket. So there's only really so much you can do. Making a little post like this is gonna like minimize it a little bit to your core audience. But if you're opening for a larger act, there's gonna be people around filming. You can only control so much. So that leads us to the next point here. Please do not take the set list home with you. This is something that like fans love to get their hands on is the set list, especially if it's a handwritten set list that's been trampled on. God damn, front row fans are savages for that kind of thing. That's just historical. That dates back to well before I was going to shows. And I think that's actually part of the culture. That's part of it. I don't think that that's something that you can change. I think that the more important thing is, is if you take the set list home, don't take a picture of it and put it on Twitter. And if you do that, at least be a little bit cheeky with how you do it. And I guess that rule would just be a little bit too wordy. <laughs> so from the top, I don't really agree with this YouTube rule. I don't really agree with this set list rule, but this last rule is not debatable no matter where you are in the world. And that's please do not leave drinks on stage for one big reason. It's dangerous, especially if you're in like a club or a bar type setting, your drink probably doesn't have a cap on it and it can spill on electrical cords. There are open 
outlets all over the place. It's pretty simple stuff. And also, bands are up there playing, they're walking around, they're trying to connect with the audience. They're not trying to navigate debris all over the fucking place, you know? That's not their job. You shouldn't be putting stuff in their way, on their fucking, like, work surface. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It goes on to say in the caption of this post that the reason that they don't want people putting the drinks on stage is because their bass player, Hero Chan, plays barefoot. And that's another reason that makes it super, super dangerous. Because your drink is probably in a glass type thing and if it falls, uh, why am I explaining this? Yes, this rule makes sense. But if I'm in the front row of an Otsuboka Beaver concert, I'm not going to be taking that set list home with me. I might look at it and fawn over it a little bit and be like, oh, it looks so nice over there. But since they don't want me to take it, I guess I won't have this heirloom to remember this very special moment in my life. Thank you very much for taking that away from me with this sick, awesome rule. And maybe I'm a little bit biased. I'm all over YouTube. I like YouTube. I like it when there's shows and concerts and stuff on YouTube. I like a longer form type experience. So of course I don't like that rule. And the way that I opened this video was clearly facetious, you know? Punks don't really enjoy rules, and I'm not sure if you realize, but you make punk rock tunes. I know your audience really isn't like people in torn clothes drinking whiskey out of boots or whatever, but it's still normal people out with their friends trying to have a good time. They don't need to be considering these rules. Their thought process isn't, oh my god, I'm going to take video footage of this, and I'm going to get their set list to make sure that their next show doesn't get any people going to it. <laughs> doesn't make any sense to me. And these three simple rules are the rules big enough to form the hill that they're willing to die on because they're like hey if you're thinking about YouTube if you're out there thinking about documenting a full set or taking our set list home with you well just get out of here there's the door bud we don't want you around don't enjoy our music don't come to our shows we don't want you around this is the most disrespectful thing in the world it's filming us and putting it on YouTube yeah you can film us and put it on any other platform but YouTube especially YouTube we hate it and if that set list comes so much within five feet of those grubby little fingers of yours you best know we're chopping them off with a butcher's blade and I'm being a little bit sarcastic they make great music their shows really fun I respect them you respect them you're not gonna film them and put them on YouTube YouTube, would you? Pfft, no, not you. I thought that was a little bit funny and wanted to share it with you. Um, until my next upload, watch another upload.